Battle of Hattin took place almost 1,000 years ago. But if you were to see the long overlooked battlefield today, you might think the Crusades are still taking place. A local reenactment group, the Kingdom of Jerusalem, organizes the three-day event every year. And with the help of volunteers, one of the most famous battles of the Middle Ages is brought to life. <laughs> The story is not the only thing followed in precise detail. Accurate period clothing and accessories are a prerequisite for all participants. I make most of my, all my clothing myself, my shoes. That's probably the main part of it for me, but also being able to re, uh, use the items again. And I was speaking to an archaeologist the other day, and we have this pen, and he didn't understand the full function of how it worked because he'd never used it. The annual event attracts history lovers of all kinds. It is the only project in Israel that shows a fully functioning representation of life in the Crusader Kingdom. It is also unique in the world of reenactments. Very few have the opportunity to recreate history in the exact location it happened. Well, in the United States, of course, the Crusades didn't actually happen, so it was a bit unique to be able to actually come on the actual roads and the locations that the events took place, which is very special. The battle itself was in 1187 against Sultan Salah ad-Din's forces during the Second Crusade. The clash killed the majority of the Crusader army and gave Muslims control of the Holy Land once again. This battle was a key moment in the history of Crusader States. It's actually the time after which Crusader States became smaller and never rose uh, again as much as they were. That particular army never recovered, but the Crusades did not end there. Four more major Crusades would march across the Holy Land after the lost Battle of Hattin.